that Yo got it, man, that CM10, bro. Like, I really was that that junk with the replay value. That's like his best album. I'm not gonna lie. Like, he I've listened to Yo Got It from since, you know, that's what's up, like way back in the day, you know what I'm saying? But he's never been able to put an album together. He always had those mixed, those classic mixtapes. And then when he tried to do an album, it just don't work out the same because I think he'd be hamstrung about a by the label or whatever. I don't know what it is, but he just can't put an album together. But the CM10. Man, he went hard on the CM10 with the side A and side B, especially with, you know, he kind of addressed the doll situation a little bit in the album, you know, kind of make it seem like he like he ain't had nothing to do with it. But besides all that, man, it was a really solid project from Yo Gotti, man. Like, I have never heard him on an album this good. Like, the mixtapes, yes, but the albums, no. This album was, was probably his best album to me. All right. I got to check yeah, that yeah, out, that man. CM10. I, you, you, it's been a lot of people... Uh, you've been like the fourth, fifth people that I, person I heard that said that about his album. And I like Yo God. I just never yeah. got around to listening. And so the, I've never, so I'm, I'm going to check it out and today. The thing I'm, is, I'm, I'm, I'm the album came on. out at the top of the year, bro. Like the album came out like early, like January, February, sometimes if I remember correctly. And that album just held through the year for like mm-hmm. top albums for me. And I actually go back to that album. And because I got, I got mm-hmm. title. They always like throwing up those songs off the album on my playlist, so it, it constantly kind of keeps me it's, like. It, hey, right, right. another thing: should we throw Yo Gotti up there for like maybe executive hey, he, year? Hey, he got, he he got signed, one of the, what is the name? He got, Glo- he got Glorilla, Glorilla he got Money Bag, and then up on the Money Bag, he got yeah. you know what I'm saying. He got um, Big Thirty, you know Money Bag got Big Thirty, and then Big they 30, that's yeah, your boy then, right you know what I'm saying. Then he got <laughs> he got a couple of other artists in there, you know what I'm saying, but he got. Oh, uh, he got the no, boy from Detroit, ESTG, ESTG, and then he got um boy from Detroit. Uh, you know, yeah, saying so he got boy from Detroit. Me. They got you know, what I'm saying so he got a solid roster right now. Like he got one of the one of the best rosters in Memphis. Pretty much putting out some of the best music yeah, right man. now. Memphis kind of holding the game down right now. They got some really good yeah, artists. Memphis, got, yeah, a lot Memphis of music. got some of the hottest artists right now. So they've been like since you know you know YSL and they whole the issues that's been going on with their cases. They should be ashamed of themselves, man, because they. They took out the coldest one out of Memphis, man. You know, I, yeah, I, dog. I yeah. hey, my guy, yeah, young you dog. Know, dog. That's my yeah, guy, paper man. route. You know what I'm saying? He just dropped the album with paper yeah. route. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, we just listen to them. That Memphis is that Memphis music just so good right now. I don't know if it's just because it's so so much in the trenches up down there in the south, but them boys, them boys and girls, they hey. putting out some dope music out of out of Memphis right now. They got a dog. They got a dog poster. So- uh, Big yeah, billboard in downtown. They Oakland. got an SFO. I seen his SFO too. They got a big yeah oh, for the do? album. Yeah, for his yeah, album. Real. SFO. Yeah. yeah, it's hard. It's hard. Man, I'll tell you, like, I was I'm with you. I was with Got It. Man, I remember Got It first album. Uh, uh, not album. Well, album and track that he hopped on when he was like 16 with Kia okay, Shine yeah, when they yeah, was with like, TBT. <laughs> um, so I've been knowing Got It since yeah. you know he was a kid like us. Um, but I ain't gonna lie, like I kind of fell fell off with God just because he kind of moved on, started doing other stuff, and he wasn't really yeah. putting out music that regularly. Then I kind of fell in love with Dolph. So it was kind of like you almost kind of like with him with his absence and him making you, you know, choose like yeah. what music you really wanted to go to. I knew Dolph was gonna put out two, two, maybe three albums or or projects a year. Yeah. So I can always yeah, depend yeah, no, on that. Sure. And it was solid, right? And I think what what, what... <clears throat> So I kind of ventured over to paper yeah, route versus yeah. staying with yeah. CMG, <laughs> not gonna lie. But you know what I'm saying? I mean, Gotti always that yeah. has made. I think what it was, music. he was more moving towards the executive role. And so I think that's why he was like not putting out a lot of music. Like he would because at first when he was doing that mixtape grind, he was putting out so many mixtapes. But then when it, when it started to change the streaming, he was kind of you know holding back on the music, kind of to put on his albums, and then he start pushing more money bag, you know. So so he getting behind, getting behind money mm-hmm. bag a lot more. So he, he wasn't putting out a lot of more, a lot of music. And like I said, Dolphin just came in there. And he was just like drop an album, drop a project, drop a mixtape, drop another project. You know what I'm saying? And so he just kept that going, especially when he got on the roar with him and uh. What's his name? Uh, Key Glock. When he got when he got with Key Glock, so he dropped like mm, two or three yeah. projects with Key Glock. So he was just constantly feeding the streets with music. So that's I think that was a big thing. Yeah, that dumb. Yeah, I think yeah, I think that was a big thing. He started yeah, getting with, with Glock. Oh, and he was just putting yeah. out a lot more projects. So I think that's kind of like overshot overshot because Dolph be talking that talk. You know, Dolph gonna talk that talk. So mm. um, it's Dolph. It's Dolph, you already know. <laughs> so uh, 